Hey, morning everyone, welcome back to my garden and I wanted to show you an update today with my indoor orange seedling. This plant was planted from seed I believe sometime around April 5th so that should make this plant about a hundred and maybe around 140 days or something like 15 weeks I believe and if you look it's growing in the hydroponic Kratky system which is basically just a little glass quart sized mason jar and I've, like I mentioned I've been growing this from seed and I posted many videos about this plant and I'm sure some of you have seen it and I just wanted to show you an update to see how it looks and what's been going on it's been a while, quite a while since I posted a video about this one specifically it's been here and there little small clips just to show you how it's been growing but let's actually take a close look and see what's going on if we take a, a nice look up over here the leaves are looking very healthy looking nice and green let's see if they have a smell or not not quite yet or a tiny bit but nothing too pungent so hopefully when it gets a little bit older the leaves should have a much stronger aroma and I'll, what I'm gonna do is possibly I may even harvest some of these leaves and try to make a little tea out of it see what it tastes like I know the flowers will make a delicious tea so if any of you are growing little orange plants you could try making a little little herbal blend see if you like it a lot of people have very good reviews about it and it's being grown in coco core like you see right there this is a great great media for this type of plant it doesn't like to have um, too wet of a, too wet feet for the soil so being that the root system has grown down quite a bit the soil here is always oh sorry I'm saying soil the coco core here is always dry and the root system is what's below in the, nutri in the hydroponic nutrients taken up as it needs but for now it's doing I think very well let's actually maybe take a look see what the root system here looks like like I mentioned this is being grown in the Kratky system wow this root system must have at least I would say doubled if not more look at that honestly these are some of the most interesting roots I've ever seen in a hydroponic Kratky system they're very wood very woody and they resemble kind of like branches almost so just be careful you want to make sure everything stays down in there and as you see look at that the hydroponic fertilizer is looking quite healthy I don't see any signs of algae growth which is excellent so painting this black did a bit of a difference but you could also put foil around it like you see right there so either method will work quite well I believe the foil might actually be a tiny bit better because it will actually reflect the light back around the plant and the black jar sometimes gets a little bit too hot if it's too close to the light system so I keep it pretty high up here maybe about four inches apart from the light maybe three to four inches approximately and you see right there at the top of the plant it's actually putting on a lot of new growth right there so this plant has been a very slow grower for a very long time now and finally it's kicking off right there and putting on a lot of new growth at once so that's a little bit different normally it would grow very slow maybe one leaf at a time but right there it looks like about four so that's the orange plant that i got grown for you here and like I mentioned, I'm going to keep this plant growing in a hydroponic cracky system. There's no uses of any, any pumps or anything like that. So it's been growing quite nice. And if anybody was interested in growing an orange seedling, you could definitely grow it in the cracky system. Some people think you can't grow plants using that method for a long period of time. But as long as you check the nutrients, make sure the pH and the... Uh, ppm and the ec is, is pretty accurate should be good to go for as long as you need and this plant i'm going to keep it growing until hopefully i'm able to produce some type of fruits off of it um, it might be kind of random what i get being that this was grown from a store-bought organic orange 
so I might get an orange, I might get a lime, it might be anything part of the citrus family, could even be a grapefruit, so we'll see what I get, but hopefully it's something really delicious, and if not, what I'm going to do is just simply graft an existing orange plant onto this tree right here that I'm growing, and I'm going to keep the progress going, and I'll keep the updates going, and hopefully you like the episode and hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions post them down below as always i'll do my best to respond thanks for watching